Hello everyone, it's me, it's Mr. Barkhorn. Thank you so much for joining me today for the next episode in our Boyfriend Dungeon playthrough. Episode 9, we're going back in the dungeon. We'll see how it goes. And then we're going to go on a little datey date with Isaac. So buckle up, get ready for some romance. And I'll see you at the end of the video. Going down. Ow! <laughs> he apparently just uh, got Mandy with a little nip. She's behind the green screen right now, and he's very loud. So that's my that's my corgi son. That's Ernie Barkhorn. He's a wee one. Could you possibly pick him up and hand him to me? Would that work? Let's face your fears together. Oh, here we go. Getting the puppy on stream. We're getting him on stream. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, stop wiggling. <laughs> All right, folks. It's Ernie. Ernie Barkhorn. We love him very much. He's a good boy. This is my corgi son. This is Ernie Barkhorn. This is why I've become Mr. Barkhorn. What is mom doing? Okay, you're done. You're done. I wasn't holding him the best of ways. Um... Oh, yes! Ernie has his own uh, TikTok and Instagram. Uh, he's very popular. All right. So we're in the dungeon. We're at level five. There was a boss in here last time. Uh, oh, geez. I've unintentionally gone back into the boss. All right. So we're, we know how to beat him, though. Oh, wow. Isaac does a lot of damage compared to uh, the Talwar. Oh, we're also stronger. That's important to note. Oh, what's the roll button? Okay, so if I... Do this right. I might be about to take a whole bunch of damage. Ah! But we can repost with this sword. Roll. Okay, good. I want to... I want to... I just want to get a repost. Nope. Not that way. Okay, let's... <laughs> okay, I got some health back. Hey, we did it! Bollocks! Feels good. Man, for any of you that were around for the last time I fought that thing, that was a much easier experience. Oh, wow! And we get recipes for beating old bosses. Okay, that's huge. Uh, so, the, the running theory is that um, these insecurities are either communication technology like like the kind of growing older as technology uh becomes more advanced and oh yeah and for those of you who haven't seen the combat it's basically hades uh which i am a-okay with hades is a phenomenal game uh and if you get a chance um you should check out some of the videos of uh uh klingon pop warrior playing hades they're a joy to watch hmm You've worked up a sweat, I see. Perhaps an ice cream would cool you down. Woo! It's been so long since I've indulged. I think I'll have an apricot gelato, man after my own heart. I love, uh, apricot, as apparently it is actually pronounced. Um, what flavor would you like? Uh, the same. Ooh, we have similar tastes, or perhaps you're just flattering me. Ah, this reminds me of Rome, the sun on the piazza, a taste of apricot. Have you ever been to Italy? They have fantastic fencers in Rome. Top notch. Perhaps we can go do a match together someday. Dude, put me on your plane, take me to Italy, let's go. Okay, um, the fish is for the cat. Um, gourmet cupcake or raspberry liqueur? What are our thoughts? Taste to eat. Now, there's a trace of artisanal ingredients. Liquor is classy. Okay. It is a liqueur. I know. Really, seriously. Take me with you on your trip to Italy. Put me on your plane. Uh, let's take the liqueur. Okay, he loved it. You're very generous. I'm flattered. For now, however, practice must resume. So, actually, we're going to be able to level him up uh, pretty easily. Ooh, you know what we should do is just make see see what our spell does. We switched over to a different spell. 
um, because the fireball was not working out for me for anybody that watched some of our last videos. So this is a mine. Oh wow, it's a it's like the uh, Dionysus uh, moves from Hades. That's that's really helpful. Oh, treasure chest. A gold treasure chest. A red rose recipe. I wonder who's going to like that. I bet it's going to be Sunder. Ooh, another chest. A pepperoni pizza recipe. <laughs> Love it. Let's keep on moving. Explore this here dunge. Hmm, these trees really do a lot to liven up this black abyss. Okay, lots of enemies in here. We're going to go ahead and throw this mine down just to clear some of this stuff up. We are taking a beating. We're going to heal here really quick. Woo! Okay, these big TV. Oh, no. Oh, no. Didn't realize I was stuck. Okay, we can lure them into the mine. Throw one over here. Okay, actually, we can only have one mine active at a time. That is good to know. And remember that I can roll. Jeez, these TVs. Oh, gotta get this wire. And down the floor. We did it. Uh, so, we've maxed out Isaac's uh, love level. So, we can either take him to the next level or we can change weapon. I'm thinking uh, we should change weapon just because we can then get them more love experience. I'm thinking Valeria. Uh, just because she's... Well, let's see. He, yeah, he's rank 3. She's rank 2. Let's do Valyria. That way, when we get down to the lower levels, we can bring uh, our big s Woo! Now, what's great about Valyria... I had lots of things to say before I just shoved my face <laughs> into that record buzzsaw. Alright, well, she so got a little bit. Oh, yeah! Wielder level 10. Can we get a... <laughs> that was a very short run for us. <laughs> We normally have done much better than that. <laughs> oh, hey, Ro Dash, Welcome. I know. Well, wait, what? What was Jesse saying? Okay, so we have... It's Mom! We love our Mom. Let's see what Mom's got to say. Hi, Mom. Hey, Arrow Dash, thank you so much for joining Jesse tells me you have a very attractive friend. I don't want to pry, but is it, uh, serious? I don't know yet. We're eloping. Just friends, Mom. Now, I like to be really straightforward with Mom here because she's been really great to us. She also threatened to stab anyone that was hurting us. So, I'm gonna go with I don't know yet because you know what? We don't know yet. I don't know yet. Okay, okay, no pressure. I'm just happy for you. Remember, live by the sword, die by the sword. Which I guess is a saying about marriage. Anyway, have a good day, sweetie. Uh, thanks, Mom. Uh, hey, everybody, if you have the ability to... Um, I think, what is it? Uh, it's like exclamation point S-O arrow dash. Yeah, isn't that the command? Did I do it? I don't know how to do it. I'll figure it out later. Uh, you should check out Aaron Dash's 84's 84 channel. Throw him a follow. He does um, a lot of really great work with Extra Life, uh, as does Klingon Pop Warrior. Um, the two of them uh, are uh, really great help to Lurie's Children's Hospital. So if you can throw them a follow, that's always a huge help to their channels. Um, all right. Uh, let's see what Isaac has to say. I'd like to practice more parries. I often practice at the mission. Care to join me? Okay. I'll be in the sanctuary of San Drogo. Oh, thank you so much, Klingon Pop Warrior. That's a huge help. Yes, Ernie Barkhorn's TikTok is uh, very, very cute. Mandy does a very good job cultivating it. Okay, let's see what Sunder has to say. Hmm. Heart. Hmm. Is that too much? Um, so we can either say heart back, like we love you, or give me that eggplant, <laughs> or yeah, <laughs> that is too much. So heart, eggplant, or yeah, 
I'm going to leave this completely up to the chat. So one for heart, two for eggplant, three for yeah. I'm, I'll be shocked if we don't end up picking two. <laughs> I'm glad, Strange Berry. Lots of twos. We caught him off guard. Show me that eggplant. All right. Well, we're going to go. Uh, we can go on this little get together with Isaac just to get him up to level two. So I think that's a good idea. We're going to make sure we check Paradise Lost. Still nothing. Give me my cat. Um, all right. Here we go. We're going boyfriend dungeon oh he's in his gear already girl the church sanctuary makes it a surprisingly good combat training space this is a true statement high ceilings mm. hmm you're improving but your parry is actually a bit too consistent equal opportunity weapon banging <laughs> you can try going a bit slower or faster or try a new parry direction surprise is the spice of life and fencing go on take a stab at it parry quickly parry diagonally or throw your weapon at him <laughs> i kind of love uh three that is similarly what i would do dude the music is so good um five, five, fairy five a five a um so should we so we've got parry diagonally so one for parry quickly, two for parry diagonally, three for throw your weapon. That's another vote for two. There's one vote for three. Okay, we've got enough for two, so parry diagonally. Right. Yes, just like that, perfect form, just lovely. You have a perfect form too, or are you flirting with me? One or two, folks. I kind of like two. That's, that's sort of where I'm going. We got a vote for one, another vote for one. Lots of votes for one, not to make it happen. Oh? What? I'm not even wielding. Oh. You mean, uh, well, <laughs> thank you. Let's resume. You practice parries and lunges for a while. <laughs> nice work. You even, have me, you even have me sweating. I'm just getting started. Or, on guard! Uh, I like the enthusiasm of on guard. We got a vote for one. I'm just getting started. Another vote for one. Okay, I'm just getting started. You launch into a new duel. He does not spare you an inch. He deflects every thrust, easily knocking them aside and scoring on you. Have mercy! Wow, you're amazing. Which I'm guessing is like another attack. Uh, I like all of these options. So we've got raw, raw. Two votes for three, two votes for two. Wow, you're amazing. I like two here. All of them are good, I agree. One is hilarious. Well, let's go, wow, you're amazing. Isaac pauses to take a breath. And you're a flatterer, hmm. But I'll take it, thank you. I suppose regular practice has its, has its advantages. Besides just exercise and relieving aggression towards my father, which we have learned that he has a uh, very serious issue with his father sort of like trying to control him. I didn't mean to show off. I get impatient sometimes, I suppose. And you handled me rather well, I must say. Love rank two. So we can either do Riposte's timing is more forgiving or Riposte knocks enemies back further. Let's make it a little more forgiving. Uh, I think that's a good call. Mm hmm. We could continue or take a break. How are you feeling? Why are we in a church or your fencing gear suits you? <laughs> Man, they're letting our character come on strong here. So one for why are we in a church, two for your fencing gear suits you. Lots of twos in the chat. <laughs> your fencing gear suits you. Oh? Isaac looks away, clearing his throat. You're so forward. Let's... Take a break and cool down. Okay, chat. He may not be a huge fan of us being super forward. He takes off his fencing jacket, looking around. My mother raised me in this church. It's a comforting place. And he's a church boy. Uh, she wasn't as kind as your mother, it sounds like. But she did some things right. 
She came for the community mostly, but I took it more deeply. There's so many mysteries in this life, Mr. Barkhorn. Some people suffer, others become swords. That is a really, I want that as a tattoo. Some people suffer, others become swords. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't get saucy in dead mom church. Got it. <laughs> a purpose is helpful. Do you believe in a god of some kind? Oh, I didn't even notice there were answers, but I did it right. Shoot. Uh, then you understand. I hope the allure of something greater. Our beliefs are probably quite different, but at least we can agree that love is power. I will agree on that. Especially with how we're playing this playthrough. Not just lust. Real, generous, patient love. Hmm. I'd like to think that love can connect everyone, no matter what deity we believe in or don't. There's so many suffering people, I want to help them all. Oh, Isaac, you're so sweet. I know you like talking business, and I see it as a more powerful tool. I started Brook Associates to tackle wealth inequality, but most wealthy people aren't interested. <sighs> Wonderful. He releases a long exhalation, shaking his head. Anyway, I wanted to thank you for handling my father so gracefully before. Mm. Vincent can be a difficult man. Lots of saber rattling. Why don't you stand up to him? Is he a businessman too? We all have our bad days. Is he a saber? He could be a saber. That makes sense. Um. Okay, so let's see what we, we got. A vote for three, a vote for one. Another vote for three, another vote for one. We got two votes for one, two votes for three. I like both of those answers. Um, there's another vote for three. That's the tiebreaker right there. We all have our bad days. Right. Indeed we do. Though I'm not sure his stresses excuse his callousness. He wants what he thinks is best for me. Still, perhaps I should try to say something. But no matter how sharp I get, I can never get a word in edgewise. Whoa, two sword puns, one sentence. How do you work up the courage to go into the dunge even when you're afraid? I just plunge in. Your dad's a dunge monster? I think I just plunge in is fine. Although I guess he might appreciate, like, do you think he's comfortable with humor about his dad? I, I feel like, let's not talk about his dad. He's, he's got enough problems with that. Yeah, lots of ones in chat. Oh. Yeesh. I tried that with Vincent once as a teenager. It did not end well. I think I still have a scar on my hilt from that scuffle. It was an accident, but still. Do we know Vincent? We all have our own strategies for survival. Even in human form, I find it easier to parry than go on the offensive. A crowd starts filtering in. Perhaps a service will start soon. Oh? Oh, I'm out of time already? How it flies. Next time I'll make sure we don't get interrupted. He doesn't get humor. Would you like to offer a gift? Cupcake? <laughs> Ooh. The fish is for the cat. Do we give him the cupcake or do we not give him a gift? Cupcake. Okay. It was a mediocre gift. You're very generous. I'm flattered. Good day, Mr. Barkhorn. Be well. You head home. We're going home. Thank you for coming to practice. All right. Let's, uh, let's go to our phone. We got one message. Thank you for coming to practice. I'm so pleased with your progress. Uh, what's the right emoji to use? <laughs> you don't need emoji. Celebration poppers. Please give me that dick. <laughs> I like you don't need emoji. I agree. Not eggplant time for this one. <laughs> uh, okay, we've got a vote for two. Two votes for two. Three votes for two. We're going to go with the poppers let's lead him straight um also everyone thank you so much again for being here uh if you haven't hit the follow button please do it helps me a whole lot we are so close to the affiliate status so if you can hit uh that follow button it's super helpful okay let's go to the dungeon he got it we helped him okay i actually think we need to go to the dungeon again which is good because our last uh our last run wasn't spectacular but first there's nothing going on at paradise loss okay I don't, I don't know. Is our bud like randomly at the beach? Axeman? Where's my Axeman? I'm on the, I'm on the desk. 
I'm, I'm on the dock dreaming of you, Axeman. Come back to me. I want to talk about surfing and the fact that you're an axe. <sighs> Alright, back to the dunge. We are going to start with Valeria because I feel like I have to redeem myself. <laughs> axe Daddy, please! Uh, let's go to floor 5 again. And that's going to be it for our episode today. I know that was an impressive dungeon run earlier, but maybe we'll be able to redeem ourselves in the next episode of our Boyfriend Dungeon playthrough. I'm Mr. Barkhorn. Please like and subscribe if you're having fun. Uh, and I'll see you at the next video.